By now, these turtles should be somewhere off the Carolinas, but somehow they got trapped in Long Island's cold waters and had to be rescued. Welcome back to News 12 Long Island. I'm Doug Geed. The story now, the New York Marine Rescue Center, which rehabilitates many animals found in our local beaches. Our water stayed warm for so long that these turtles stayed here and they don't get that cue to migrate. And once they start realizing that the temperature is dropping, it's too late. In cold water, sea turtles get fatigued and eventually are unable to swim. They're then at the mercy of the tides and often wash up on our beaches. I was just thinking, oh my God, I have to help this animal. On her day off, Rescue Center staff member Christina Hansen walked the beaches looking for turtles and came across two. Recently, the center took in 10 turtles in just one day. In addition to being cold stunned, some have other issues. The animal actually had a um, hook lodged in its throat, and it's actually a three-prong hook, which is probably painful for the animal. We have them on antibiotics. Chestnut is a permanent resident here because she'd never survived back in the wild. Ten years ago, her shell was severely damaged by a boat propeller. Rehabilitators made a special vest just so she's able to swim in her tank. The stories are sad. Many animals die, and their care is expensive. Each animal is about $10,000 to $11,000 to rehab one animal. The center is entirely nonprofit, and funds are especially low because of the pandemic. But there's a reason workers are so dedicated. Staff and volunteers say there's nothing like the thrill of seeing an animal going back into the water. It's just a, a very exciting day, you know, seeing an animal come in in critical condition and nurse it back to health and be able to give that animal a second chance. For more information about the New York Marine Rescue Center and to see more of my East End segments, go to news12.com slash East End. In Riverhead, Doug Deed, News 12 Long Island.